Welcome back. Once again, adventurers, let's play Chaos Child. In the last episode, we were treated to a rather nice family uh, evening with Nano Kurisu and her adoptive family, which uh, was nice, all things considered. However, Kurisu, as she has been for the past well, days, weeks, months, and even years, has pretty much been uh, concerned about Takuru Miyashiro. The fact that he uh, left after, after so long, the events of the Shibuya earthquake well, that definitely played no small part on his mind, among other things, as well as his, the fact that he is now involved in the uh, unfolding situation that is once again taken root at the heart of Shibuya. And on the subject of Takuru Miyashiro, uh, that brings us to here, because Takuru and Serika, who is currently crouching here, yeah. They're hiding in the women's restroom on the fifth floor of none other than AH Tokyo General Hospital. Now, of course, the uh, reason for this is twofold. Takuru, correctly, um, understands that there is something about this hospital that is tied to these recent incidents, and he has learned of the uh, whereabouts of a certain patient who is reputedly drawing cre creepy pictures who could very well be linked to the sumo stickers. Uh, the other thing to note is that uh, it turns out that Shinji Ito actually noticed, uh, he's not here by the way, but uh, anyway, Shinji uh, noticed in each of the recent photos that Takuru took in the street there were apparently uh, two or maybe more individuals uh, in each photo. And the fact that they're in all four of them is more than a little suspicious. But as Takuru said at the end of the previous episode, he has put uh, Ito's observation on hold to investigate the lead at the general hospital. Which is, uh, well, I would say a repeat performance of what happened between uh, with Takuru and Serika six years ago, except that we're on the fifth floor and not delving into the basement of the hospital, this time at least. But uh, that brings up the uh, unfortunate quandary, because we are basically trespassing without any good reason if we are caught it's pretty much game over. Although being kicked out of the hospital uh, isn't actually the worst thing that could happen to us right about now. <clears throat> and by the way, uh, also Kurisu uh, just happened to try and text Takuru at the most opportune of uh, moments. I decided to ignore the phone call. I think I can hear Pink Panther music playing in the background there. Mm -hmm. That's that's just me, by the way. That's not actually playing in the background. Yeah. Add the fact you would probably be shouting down the phone as to why we're here in the first place. Whatever it was, chances are, wasn't something I wanted to hear. And I couldn't exactly hold the conversation right, right now. Which isn't wrong. <sighs> it's quiet out there. A bit too quiet. Hmm. And we have uh, another choice before us again. 
choice of positive or negative simulations. Going to go for the negative one this time, um, because for some reason the previous negative uh, simulation, as Takuru calls them, um, was actually not quite what I was expecting. Although that being said, this one is probably going to be much worse. Uh, I believe next time I will just let uh, reality play itself out. Two hours, huh? Two hours trapped in the woman's laboratory on the fifth floor of the general hospital with security people wandering around. Not a good situation. I didn't know being quiet and doing nothing was so tiring. Serica had her arms crossed over her knees. She looked upset, with good reason. Was I imagining it, or had she been really fidgety over the last ten minutes? Well, crouching for that long is certain enough to give anyone cramps. Hmm. Now do you think about it, the fact that there's eerie silence is rather peculiar. タクと一緒に女子トイレの個室に何時間もこもることになるなんて。うん。そう言わずにもうちょっと付き合ってくれ。うん、maybe、maybe we でもこれ以上粘っても意味ないと思う。Well, mm. we have to uh, get out of here eventually if we want to meet the mystery patient in the ward on the fifth floor. Suppose we'll have to risk it, and if we get caught, well, we get caught. Sarah sighed a little. I looked away from her. I was starting to fidget a little, maybe because we've been talking about going to the bathroom. So, or so I said, but... Hmm. To be honest, I was thinking of calling it a day too. Yeah, it's a huge risk, and there is a very real possibility that the so-called patient might be a dead end. Although, given the history that this general hospital has, I would actually sincerely doubt it. The reason why was... I really had to go to the bathroom. Good timing. I was about to piss myself. Of course, I was aware that I was already sitting right next to a toilet. But I didn't think it was a good idea to use the woman's bathroom, particularly in front of Serica. So I was holding it in. But I was about to hit my limit. But still. If I missed a chance like this because of a simple biological function, it would be humiliating. Ito would laugh at me for sure. That he probably would. I was the president of the newspaper club. Not to mention the person investigating these incidents altogether. I'd overruled the objections of the vice president to come in to come here, who was also the student council president, I might remind you. So very powerful overriding there. I couldn't give up. I had a reputation to protect. So I... Serica stood up, looking relieved. 
Home is probably not where we're going. Hmm. That would actually be the sensible option, but then again, two problems. Uh, first of all, we don't know who the mystery patient is, so we can't get their permission. And on top of that, we uh, probably wouldn't be able to get the hospital's permission because we don't have a good reason to see mystery patient. Yeah, I not だから悪いけど一瞬外に出ててくれないか ほんの30秒ぐらいでいいから。ガラッドのトラップ。いや、だって。それならタクが出てってよ。僕が勝負したいのに、なんで僕が出ていかなくちゃいけないんだ。Well, once again, we've had a roadblock. How she, could she suggest something like that in such an innocent way? That is Serika Inoue, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. え、今さらじゃん。私とタクの間柄でしょ。お前本気で言ってるのか。てかお前本気で言ってるのか。I was so freaked out that I was repeating myself. Hmm. Should probably not yell because uh, the people patrolling outside will definitely hear us. Sarah could grin a little as she turned around. Evidently, she had no intention of leaving the store. Got us there. No way. There was no way this was happening. But to be honest, my bladder felt like it was about to explode. I couldn't last any longer. I didn't have a choice. Okay. I lifted the lid, lowered my zipper, and got ready. I felt a wave of pleasure and release as I let go. Yeah, that's better. As it is. Crisis averted, at least I hope. The sound, though, was extremely embarrassing. I should have had Serika put her hands over her ears. But it was too late now. Asking her to do so at this point would have just been more embarrassing. Hmm. <sighs> Then again, as Serika said in the previous episode, 
Had Takuru not chosen to hide in there, I would have been caught. And since I held it in for so long, there was a lot that had to come out. It was taking long enough that it was actually starting to freak me out a little. Yeah, hurry up. Come on, hurry up and finish. <coughs> And Sirica just laughed. She laughed. She just laughed. How the hell do you laugh at a guy who's going to the bathroom? It is a... an absurd uh, situation, though. I want to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. Please don't, Takuru. That would be a bad idea. Please, someone kill me. Things could could be worse. Things could be a lot worse. If that had happened, I don't think I would ever recover. Fortunately, I don't think Takuru was in much of a uh, dire situation as that. But Serika and I were in a situation where that could happen at any minute. That is true. Maybe it was time to go home after all. Has that stupid idea crossed my mind? ちょっと。ねえ、とく。とりあえず今日は諦めて出直そうよ。うん。Sarah hmm. stood up and rubbed her butt a little. お前は気にならないのかよ。え?この病院は This was a hospital we snuck into a long time ago, looking for an urban legend called Amy. In the end, we had to give up before we could figure it out, but if there were some connection between the sumo stickers and this hospital... でもこうなっちゃったらさ、明日からちゃんと面会時間に通い詰めて入れるチャンスを待った方が良くない。We hmm. still don't have a good official reason to see the patient. Meh。それはもう。今だったらこの階で見つかりさえしなければ。普通に外に出られるでしょ? Mm, easier said than done. <laughs> this place had an ER, so it was open at night, and people would be going in and out. As long as we could get to the first floor lobby safely, we'd be able to walk right out. Damn it. Maybe we didn't have a choice. My phone vibrated again. Another text from Kurosu. Or maybe not. I thought it was Kurosu calling me again, but it wasn't. I checked once again that there was no one in the rest room and answered the phone. Shinji, is that you? Mosonshi. Oi. Miyashiro. Omae des. Ima doko ni iru? Ah, of all the times. Dousta. 
部長が事件を追うのはやめなさいって切れとるぞうわあ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。Stand up to her, Shinji. Well, like we would, as if we had courage and superpowers and whatnot. Oh my, m a s a k a Yeah. Had to break it to you, Takuru, but Shinji has a tendency to crumble under pressure. Yeah, Ito said. Denbu s a b e t a So s a r a 設置した監視カメラを外しなさい。いや、私が今すぐ外しに行くって電話切られた。Uh, well... なお前、そこ耐えろよ。Uh, because he cannot shut up when he's scared. 無理言うなよ思わず副部長に敬語だったぞ俺<笑> Damn it That coward Well I knew how he felt でとりあえずお前のことは何か別に気になったことがあったみたいで尾上と一緒にそれを調べてるみたいですって言っておいたから。Things are just going to go from bad to worse. Nani Sterka Shiranegado, Scubucho and Korosari Romani, I am at the girl. Tega, then one is dead. I think that ship has sailed and sank. He hung up before I could say anything. It was clear that he wanted to stay out of this. With nothing else to do, I put away my phone. Nan-chan, Genki, d e t a n d a y o k a t a Well, we're not going to be feeling better. s e r i k a looked happy. She must have overheard the conversation. Yeah, y o k a t a Jana, y o No, not for us. In fact, we're going to be dead meat. Demo, non chanda s h i y o s e r i k a nodded to herself, satisfied. She really did look happy. Oh my, do you know me, Katananda? Taco da yo? タコだってのんちゃんが元気ないの嫌でしょ、mm. Not a question of want. そりゃいやいい<笑> See if the coast is clear. 行くの言っとくけど、諦めたわけじゃないからな。I just didn't feel like I was going to find out anything more by staying here. Well, obviously, it's the woman's restroom. I just come back tomorrow during visiting hours if Kurisu doesn't find out. She's probably going to. And dodge Kurisu somehow. First, we have to get out of the hospital. There was no one around. Fortunate. 
The nurse at the nurse's station was staring at her PC. If we crouched down, she couldn't see us. There goes nothing. I motioned to Serica and we quietly left the bathroom and started for the lobby. Fingers crossed. We made it across and arrived in front of the elevator. Of course, if we use the elevator, people are going to notice. I looked ahead and saw an automatic door with thick, frosted glass and a green light. The psych ward lay beyond it. Next to it was a control terminal with an intercom. When visiting, you would say your name and have them unlock the door from the inside. Unfortunately, we can't do that under the current circumstances. So we can't go into the psych ward. During visiting hours, I've been sitting in the lobby waiting for the automatic door to open. I tried to see if there was a way to sneak in along another visitor, but had run out of time before I'd gotten the chance. And I don't think that would have worked anyway. Would have raised too much suspicion. Serika hmm. must have noticed me staring at it, because she motioned for me to leave. <sighs> well, we've certainly hit a dead end. She was right. If we used the elevator, they might notice the sound. Not to mention they'd see the uh, obvious glowing light blinking and changing. We just have to take the stairs, which are conveniently right next to the elevator. Or... So it seems. That was a beep. Serika stopped before just before she reached the stairs. I heard a beeping noise coming from the automatic door. Someone was coming out? Or letting us in. But who? And how? And why? I dragged Serica out onto the landing for the stairs. <coughs> well, somebody is clearly throwing us a line, but do we dare take it? <gasps> Something ominous is afoot here. That was weird. I didn't hear any footsteps. Huh. And now the door is open. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's way too suspicious. There is no way. I mean, the nurse in there might be looking at the PC, but there is no way she couldn't have heard that. And if she t looked up at any moment, she could see that she would see that the door is open. I took a look around the corner and saw that the door was open. Nande. Yeah. And we didn't even say open sesame. It was definitely open, and there was no sign that anyone had come out. That's because they probably want us to go in. But how could they know we were here? I could see deeper into the ward now that the frosted glass was out of the way. The hallway was dark, and it was long past lights out. Mm. Not liking this. Why? Why had it opened? Was it set up to open automatically from the inside, and someone had walked close enough to trip the sensor? 
We didn't see anybody, and we didn't hear anyone. I hadn't seen anyone pass by. <gasps> now I can hear someone. <gasps> oh god, it's um, it's coming from that direction. It's a security patroller. I nodded back at Seriko as she pointed down the stairs. Well, someone was coming up. We're... Don't really have a choice. Can't use the elevator. Can't take the stairs now. What should we do? There wasn't enough time for the elevator to get here. And if we used it, we would be uh, basically screaming to the entire hospital, Hey, we're here. Lobby was out of the question. Should we go upstairs? Or would we be safe if we just walked downstairs and acted like nothing was wrong? Well, we're almost certainly guaranteed to be caught that way, so... We don't really have a choice. The dark hallway seemed to be beckoning to me. There were no guards or nurses around it. And the footsteps are getting ever closer. I... There's a flashback of Kusu's words from that day. <laughs> um, this is no time to be going insane, Taku. I grabbed Serika's hand. Well, we're doing this. And ran straight for the open door. Serika was behind me, so I couldn't tell if she nodded or not. Probably confused. I ran faster, so I sh wouldn't have to hear my heart pounding. And a moment later... We were inside the psych ward. Well, we made it. Whether it's to safety or not, I couldn't tell you. As I listened to the door shut behind me, I moved up next to the wall and took a look around. Well, we better get a move on, because whoever's coming up the stairs could still see that there is a blur. Where there shouldn't be a blur, even though that door was probably shut behind... Well, the door is already shut behind us, so uh, we might not actually be able to get out, unless whoever it is allows us to get out again. If we can get out. It was too dark to see all the way to the end of the hallway, but there didn't seem to be anyone there. The green light of the emergency exit reflected off the floor, bathing us in a dim light. Well, we have one out, it seems. I realized that I was still holding Serika's hand. I quickly let go, and she turned her hand toward the wall. She was pointing at the simple map of the ward. It showed the nurse's station, the exam rooms, and what were probably the numbers for the patient's rooms. A private room in the far back. Serika nodded. But the map didn't say if the rooms were singles or not. Memory serves, I think they probably are. I looked at the doors in front of me. There were plates with what looked like two patient names. Or maybe I was wrong. These rooms were doubles, which meant, which meant that any room that with the same layout was also probably a double.
I looked back at the map. There were the private rooms. Well, we have no choice but to go that way. Serica pointed further down the hall, probably around this way. I would think. With Serica behind me, I turned to the side and started to walk as quietly as I could. That weird scent unique to hospitals was stinging my nose. I was used to it, but it was still a little creepy. Yeah. And it was too quiet. If this was a psych ward, I expected to hear some crazy screaming or something. This isn't an asylum, however. At least not that kind of asylum. That is true. Anyway, it's time for another tip. Sealed ward. A hospital ward, usually for mental patients, with a locked entrance and heavy restricted, or heavily restricted, access and visiting rules. In the broader sense, refers to any hospital ward, not just the mental ward, that cannot be ac accessed without permission from staff. Um, most notable for uh, being incredibly padded, I would say. You wouldn't expect the patients to be screaming 24 hours a day, especially after lights out. Or what was with the air here? That foreboding, ominous air. Very similar to what happened at the Love Hotel. No, it didn't matter. It was just another dim hallway. I wasn't going to the scene of a crime this time. Huh? And then I realized. Come to think of it, when I gone inside the Love Hotel, I first tried to get past the door, and then almost given up. I turned around and saw that the empty hallway stretching up before me past the confused Serica. The automatic door was on the other side of the corner. That it did. That's right. The door to the hotel had opened on its own, just like the automatic door here. The police had told me I'd been mistaken, but maybe it was really... I realized that I'd stopped moving. Hmm. Crap. Was that a nurse? Probably... Yeah, we need to go right now. To the back as fast as possible. Someone is coming through. Oh no. Not again. Ah, Matsushita san, tenteki gakketsu shite ta yo? Eh, mata desu ka? Hazu shichatte mashita? So we're back here again. Well, yeah, in this situation. And just a couple of nurses talking about a patient. I could hear what sounded like two nurses in the hallway. No. If they tried the door, however... I listened carefully. They seemed to be talking about a patient. Good, they hadn't found us. 
yet. We'd have to stay here until they left. It's deja vu all over again. Taku, so yebasa. Hm? Nukashi shinobi gonda toki te. Doko ni itta ka kogoete ru? I think Serika has realized what Taku has. I took my ear off the door. そりゃ覚えて。いや、具体的にどこか覚えてないな。I tried to think back to what I'd seen so many times in the dream. It was eight or nine years ago now. About that long ago, I was still in elementary school. Ah, that's referring to the first time that Taku and Serika snuck in here. でもこの病棟じゃなかったとは思う。No, and it was certainly not the fifth floor. I couldn't remember how we got in exactly, but I didn't remember sneaking through an automatic door. And あれは精神科に見られるような治療じゃなかった。No, it wasn't. Actually, I don't think you could even call that treatment, whatever it was. Dosta. I was about to ask before I saw her face and realized what was wrong. Dajuka. She could just be upset. It is a tense situation, after all, and a very eerie one at that. She clearly wasn't okay. Did she remember what happened before? Come to think of it, actually, she tried to act strong and failed last time too. Taishita koto jana. Ekaki no jonho o tashikamete kaeru. Sore dake da ro. Is that all? The nurses must have finished talking because I could hear the footsteps getting further away. If they're heading towards the back, we're stuck. At least we can leave the bathroom, at least. Or we should be able to. Serika slapped her cheeks with her hands to try and snap herself out of it. Iko, Taku. Ah. She's a bit more cheery now, and we're actually going to need that. And for the second time, we leave her bathroom. When we got to the room, the dim light of the emergency exit lamp was shining down on it. Coco. Looks like we found the place. I nodded. This was probably the place. There was a private room in the back, and there were no nameplates on the other private rooms we passed. Akerzo. There was no time to hesitate. Going in, Leroy Jenkins style. Could use some chicken right about now. We could run into a nurse at any moment. I looked to the left and right and checked that there was no one there before opening the, the door. Let us see who this mystery artist is. Hmm. In we go. A dimly lit room. It was a dark room with no lights. There was enough light to see my hands, but not my feet. Hmm? Hmm. It's 
left this room empty? The bed against the wall was empty. The blanket was rolled up. <sighs> Spooky. Serica looked over to see if I saw. Was this not the place? Did we enter the wrong room? Hmm. It's probably the only course of action we have. I went to leave when Serica grabbed my arm. Hmm. I don't think we're alone after all. Serica pointed at the back wall of the room. Her hand was shaking a little. It was too dark to see. I softly crept forward to get a better look. Well, that's disturbing. The wall is plastered from end to end with uh, sumo stickers. The whole wall. The whole wall was covered with drawings of the sumo sticker in what looked like red paint. Serica grabbed onto my arm. The warmth reminded me that I wasn't alone. That made me feel just a little better. If I'd seen this alone, I might have screamed and gone crazy. <coughs> oh dear. I noticed that there was an unpleasant scent coming from the red paint on the wall. Red paint in a hospital? Um... Yeah. I took another step forward, and then I realized... <gasps> yeah, that bitter coppery smell? That's not paint. I put my hand in front of my mouth to stifle a scream. And then another hand in front of Serica's mouth to stop her screaming too. <laughs> yeah. I think you... I think you know what's wrong, Serica, just as we do. Serica ripped my hand away from her mouth and clung to me tighter. No, it is not. Eh? Yeah. The penny drops. The strange smell, like rust, was the same thing I'd smelled at the Love Hotel during the Revolving Dead incident. Who would draw in these? Who would draw something like this and in blood? Could it be their own blood? I imagined someone in a locked in a dim room, endlessly drawing paintings and blood on a blank wall, and a shiver went down my spine. I got goosebumps all over my body. Oh no. Yabai. Yeah. Well, it's too late to go back now. There was something very wrong with this room. Oh god. If what's about to happen is what I think is about to happen... Huh? Hmm. We could be in big trouble. 
I suddenly realized I was holding a smartphone in my quavering hand. And without even realizing it, I pushed the record button and started filming the drawings on the wall. <laughs> no, it isn't. Serika tried to drag me back. Uh, uh. But my body wouldn't move. I knew it was dangerous to stay here, but I couldn't move. Serika was saying something behind me. But while I could hear the sounds, I couldn't understand what they meant. What did she say? And then... <laughs> oh no. Please no. I heard a sound from somewhere in the dark room. It was the sound of someone scratching something. Eerie music. body froze up even more. Taku. Yeah, we're not alone. What's in our imagination? Someone was in here with us. Someone was in this room, watching us, in the darkness could hear the sound of something hard being scratched again. But the sound bounced off the walls of the square room, and I couldn't tell where it was coming from. I desperately searched around the room, eyes cloudy with terror. Where is it? I see a silhouette. <gasps> How long had they been there? A girl was crouched alone on the floor, on the floor alone, with her back to us. She was right next to the bloody sumos, a hand wrapped around her knees, and she was staring at her feet. She was staring at the drawing of a sumo sticker. It was too dark to tell for sure, but I thought I saw something dripping off her finger. <gasps> I think we found our artist. That was blood. She cut her finger to draw that. All of that. She was drawing those pictures. speak. My throat wouldn't work. Has she noticed us? Or has she been aware of us all this time? I had questions to ask her. Who are you? Did you draw these stickers all over town? Why are you drawing those? <laughs> but unfortunately, Taku cannot speak. The strange sight before me filled me with an indescribable terror. I was overcome by the idea that if I talked to her now, if she turned around, she would turn into something else and attack me. <laughs> I heard my name and turned towards Serika. was clutching my arm tightly. Wait. You... Serika, I have a question to ask. You can see her, right? What? 
Are they? Shaking, I pointed at the girl on the floor. What? <gasps> There was no one there. I was standing in the middle of a hospital room, shaking, and staring at the drawings of the sumo sticker design on the wall. But she's not there. But she couldn't have been her hallucination. And no delusion simulation triggers had occurred at that time. So what exactly is going on here? We're summoned here, out of the blue. And now whoever summoned us, by coincidence or design, has mysteriously vanished. If indeed, they were ever here to begin with. Unfortunately, that is going to be a mystery to be left unsolved till another time. So when we return, adventurers, we shall try and make some semblance of sense as just what the hell is exactly going on here. As always, adventurers, until next we meet.